70% of the world's population will live in cities by 2050. Viewed through the correct lens, this represents two astonishing opportunities. First, it is the largest investment opportunity that has ever existed. And second, it is an opportunity to create vibrant, dynamic, climate-proofed cities around the globe. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon launched the Cities Climate Finance Leadership Alliance at the Climate Summit in September 2014. The CCFLA's goal is to catalyze investment into better, smarter, climate-proofed cities of the future. Essentially, what the Secretary General is looking to do is accelerate the way projects are configured, how finance and investment comes into them, and put our cities on the right track to deal with climate change. As of November 2015, approximately 50 institutions, including the majority of the world's largest multilateral financial institutions, have joined the CCFLA as founding members. A select group of these major actors came together in Bangkok and Johannesburg just ahead of COP21 to formulate a working blueprint for the mobilization of capital flows toward resilient infrastructure. Known as the Bangkok-Johannesburg Blueprint, this lively, generative conversation gave rise to multiple insights and recommendations. So it's very specific and incredibly powerful in the context of changing the world. You are looking at the next industrial revolution. It's an enormous potential opportunity to, um, to deploy an, an awful lot of capital. None of it will happen if strong political leadership and commitment is not in place. What we're beginning to see are the